in the whole wide Foley galaxy. What kind of surprise? So, so, how do you want those scrumptidlyicious eggs? Sunny, silly side up or sunny, funny side down? Silly, funny, silly, funny. <laughs> Pappy! Howdy, everybody. So, Pappy, what's got you so darn happy and tappy? Well, there's an extra special somebody here to see y'all. Huh? Hmm? Dentures. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> eh? Holy Anna? Of course it's me. <laughs> Who'd you expect? Great Aunt Holy Anna? And what a great aunt I am. <gasps> you remember your great aunt, don't you? Holy? Holy was knee high to a monkey wrench the last time I saw him. <laughs> What's wrong, Holy? Spot got your tongue. <laughs> Um, give your great aunt a hug. <laughs> That's how you give a hug on Planet Vibratron. Planet Vibratron? Is that where you've been all these years, Aunt Poliana? There and everywhere, Percy. We sure have missed you, Poliana. Where'd you go? And how'd you get back? Oh, there is a ton of time for questions. But right now, I want to meet my great niece, Zoe! Come give your great aunt a great big smacker. Mm. Come on, sweetums. Say hi to your great aunt, Pollyanna. She's Pappy's sister, just like you're Oli's sister. Well, maybe give Zoe a bit of time, Aunt Pollyanna. Meeting someone new can sometimes be kind of scary. Scary? Ah, maybe if I were a dangerous great thorned Allegron from the planet Allegronius. <laughs> I'm just a great aunt. <laughs> That's how they wink on Planet Winkle, see, you know. <laughs> well, all right then. How's about some scrump diddlyicious brunch so I can tell you all about my adventures? Well, you don't know the whole story, kids. I know the part about you and Great Aunt Pollyanna going on a cruise. That's right. We went for a cruise on my boat when we made a long turn into a wormhole. I tried to keep control, but it was so darn slippery in there, I, I couldn't keep it right side up, and we capsized. I hung on to the smokestack. Great Aunt Pollyanna grabbed a lifeboat, but it broke away. By the time I righted the boat, your great aunt had disappeared. I looked and looked for a whole year, but I couldn't find her anywhere. Meanwhile, my little lifeboat slid right out of the worm and out into space. It took me a long time to get home, and I had a whole lot of adventures on my way back. I went to bugging on planet Polar Rices. I visited the little green planet and had a little lunch with Big Gene and Little Gene Little Green. And then I landed on the ice cream planet for dessert. Neato! We like ice cream. Well, we're gonna get along just 
fine if you like ice cream, Zoe. Your Aunt Poliana is the bestest roly-poly ice cream sundae maker in the whole galaxy. <laughs> Spinning your head is how you show you're glad on the Rotatoron planet. Spinny, spinny, spinny! <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, Zoe Poli, that you and your head would fit right in on Rotatoron. So then what happened, Great Aunt Poliana? While cruising the galaxies, I hit an asteroid field and crash landed on a lonely asteroid. My boat was smashed to smithereens, and I was stranded. What did you do? I made do. I knew I'd have to build another boat. <laughs> now, the only thing on that asteroid was a little tree and me. I've always had a green thumb and love watching things grow. It just took a little time, loving and caring, and that tree grew bigger than me. I cut off some branches and made myself a raft. And that's how I made my way home to all of you. Pollyanna, you've always been one for adventure. You're a genuine A number one space explorer, Great Aunt Pollyanna. <laughs> you bet your bolts I am. It sure was a lot of fun. But I'm happy to be back home. And we're sure happy to have you back. I don't believe my blinking eyes, Zoe. You've got it. <laughs> me like row too. Me house flowers, and me how happy with garden. Well, it looks like you and me have a ton of fun in common, Zoe. How's about you show me Pappy's garden? Go on, pumpkin. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Looks like little Zoe is finally warming up to our hot rod of an ant. Well, she's always taking a little getting used to. She sure is a doozy. This garden! Ah, uh, looks like you've done a spiffy job, Zoe. I sure like to watch little things grow, too. We grow together? Oh, you betcha, Sweet Pea. We'll grow together. <laughs> Only the bestest part is I don't just get to watch little things grow. I get to play with them, too. <laughs> Me and Great Ben Polyan are gonna grow, grow, grow! That's right, Zoe, and I can show you a few things along the way. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Aunt Polyanna taught me that as a kid, too. <laughs> chugga, chugga, chugga! <laughs> camp with me. He was? Yeah, I was. We've been playing galaxy games and practicing our space cadet skills. Yeah, Boxbot. And we learned the ultra-secret Cosmobot handshake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Boinky Ball! We don't want to play ball. We want to keep practicing our space skills. Yeah, come on, Billy. It'll be fun. to control tower. We need you to guide us through the dangerous asteroid field. This alien is hurt, Cosmobot Oli. No, I'm not. Shh. Pretend you are. You have to lie still, or you may rupture your phytoplasm. <laughs> 
Cosmobots rocket through space together! Cosmobots are the bestest pals forever! That's a swell handshake. How'd you do it? Can't tell ya. Only genuine Cosmobots can learn it. And you're not a real Cosmobot. What should we do next? Stardust collecting in the sandbox? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Oli. See you later. What's his problem? Hey, Billy. This is for you. Real Cosmobots eat this in space. Freeze-dried Cosmobot pickles, and this one's Cosmobot ice cream. Wow. Thanks, Oli. I know you've got Cosmobot goggles, but here's a square pair of sunglasses from Planet Hubie. Spiffy! Thanks, Billy! <laughs> Oli, how's about we play some boinky ball? Roll a yard whirling wickets. Um, me and Screwy are gonna practice our Cosmobot stuff. But you can come. I can't do your Cosmobot stuff. And what's so great about Screwy anyway? Screwy's pretty okie dokie, Billy. We had fun at camp while you were away. But now I'm back, so you don't have to hang around with him anymore. But Screwy and I are Cosmobots now, and Cosmobots are the bestest of pals. Does this mean I'm not your A number one bestest pal anymore, Oli? I'm just doing other stuff with Screwy. It's not a big deal. But you just said that Cosmobots are the bestest pals, and I'm not a Cosmobot. Hiya there, boys. How's about a last hurrah before school? <laughs> a day of, uh, mini putt-putt? Thanks, Mr. Bevel, but I've already got plans with Screwy. You and Billy ready to get your pistons a button? No, uh, Screwy's coming over. Now, Ole. Just because you make new friends doesn't mean you get rid of your oldest and bestest friend. Here, Screwy. Gotta go, Dad! Watch out for Comet Hotsy Totsy! If it hits the poly planet, we'll all burn up! You're looking in the wrong solar system, Orbeis. Comet Hotsy Totsy is coming from over there. If we slide to the center of the poly planet, we might just be able to escape the cosmic radiation. <sighs> hey, Billy. Hey. Whoa, whose cubular gear just took a wipeout? Oli's got a new bestest friend. He and Screwy are bestest pals now. They're Cosmobots. Cosmobots? Hey, I'm a Cosmobot too. You are? I guess that means you want to be with all the other Cosmobot pals too, huh? You want to be a Cosmobot, Billy? Well, that's a snap. All you need is a bunch of Cosmobot pals to give you a crash course. Park it here for another couple of minutes, Billy. Cosmobots, Cosmobots rocket through, through space together! together. Cosmobots are the best pals forever! Smooth moves, guys. How do you know the Cosmobot handshake? Well, cause I'm a Cosmobot. I went to camp three years in a row, couldn't you tell? I guess that's cause Cosmobots come in so many different shapes and sizes. Any bot can be a Cosmobot. They just have to get training from some Cosmobot pals is all. Yeah! Oh, Billy needs his training. And we can do that. Where are you going, Oli? To get our newest Cosmobot recruit. Put him on, Billy. Why should I? If you're gonna be a Cosmobot, you gotta look like a Cosmobot. Come on, you mean it? You know you'd still be my bestest pal in the whole wide world even if you weren't a Cosmobot, right? Yep, you too, Oli. Cosmobots, Cosmobots rocket through, through space! space. <laughs> Cosmobots rocket through space together! Cosmobots are the bestest pals forever! No, 
not bad, but I'd loosen my gears a bit if I were you, Billy. You too, Wheelie. Next, anti-gravitational gyro jumps. Hey, I'm leading this camp. My special toe tapping twirly gigs, though. Come on in, everybody. Me and Zoe are helping Mom and Dad practice their dance steps. Dance, dance, dance. Shoot, do, shoot, do. Well, Benita and I cut a pretty square rug ourselves. A one, a two, and a shooby dooby wah. Thanks, <laughs> dear. Maybe we should save the sachet for the Polyville Park Moonlight Ball. Gosh, I can't wait for your Uncle Giz to get here, Oli. Me too. When Uncle Giz is your sitter, you get to do things Uncle Giz style. Yay! Giz it, Giz it! I'm it! Follow the gills. He's where the party is. Just follow the gills. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the fun's already started. Then it's time to take our tap and tootsies over to Polyville Park. <laughs> Bye, kids. Bye. 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 Vroom, vroom, let's rock this room. <laughs> We're going into Coachy Curve. Now Zoe, now Zoe. <laughs> okay, boys. Brum, 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 brum. Zoe's our gizmo. Too loud. <laughs> Oh, uh, then how's about we turn down the volume a little and turn this giz cycle into old giz the slow moseying pony. <laughs> Yay! Pony! Woo! Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Whew. Who wants to bring Uncle Giz a bedtime book? Me and Billy want to read Space Boy on Spooky Planet. Yeah, it's the scariest, spookiest, bestest book ever. Hmm, I don't know, fellas. This might give old Giz the bedtime jitters. Zo, what's your mommy read to rock and roll you to sleep, huh? Mother Gears Nursery Rhymes. Yep! <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Giz, nursery rhymes are for babies. Now, hold on there, buckaroos. Even nursery rhymes can be tons of fun when you crank up your imagination gear. Besides, you haven't heard them read Mother Giz style. What's fun about Hey Diddle Diddle? This cat's in the middle. We're all gonna zoom to the moon. Hold on to your sprockets. Get ready to rock it. Go couch it. Tap out a tune. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Mother Gills and Rabbit's my beast. <laughs> This sort of look like fun. Hey, silly Billy, this bongo's a dilly. Hey, Mother Giz, what about me? Well, here, Buckaroo, a kazoo just for you. <laughs> now, everybody's playing my tune. Hmm. A cookie. Be my dad, Jake. A top on my 
Shaggy. <laughs> The cow jumped over the moon, not the couch. <laughs> now that's what I call a catchy tune. Uncle Giz, look, the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> She's got a lot of spring in his ring a ding ding he does. <laughs> Whoa, Couchy! Billy, to help us hold down Couchy. Come on, Spot. <laughs> <sighs> you dance like a dream, sweetums. Shouldn't we start heading home to our little snuggle bunnies? I'm sure Giz has our tuck it out tikes tucked in and fast asleep. Oh, looks like we got a couple of poop towel polies ready to hit the hay. 